Greetings to you, Max. Hello. This is Tisdu. Tisdu, thanks for joining. You got approval. Yes. Thank you. Uh, it's, a ho it's an honor to have you here. Thank you. Uh, you may start introducing yourself and whatever you want to deliver to the group. Welcome, everyone. I am Tisdu from the vessel from North America. We have the vessel that comes around in North America and in the northern hemispheres. We control the severity of weather, seismic activity, solar flare activity that meets the earth and we try to keep it within satisfactory levels. Although some are so strong, even we cannot fully contain them. At this time, there are several solar flares around your planet. They interrupt the energy. Have you noticed that you have not been feeling quite the same the last few days? This would be an interruption of your energy pathways by solar energy. However, right now, I was going to ask you all to uh, bear with me a little because I would like to explain a little bit about the colonies. I think it's important that the Earth knows about these. Max has been very instrumental in helping us form these colonies. We have tried to do this several times before without success. And the reason for that was telepathy versus human condition. We could not possibly understand you in a way that we should. I'm this, sorry I interrupted you. Keep breathing. You kind of speak too much and don't breathe. Take pauses. Thank you. Where was I? Uh, the colonies weren't successful but you, because you didn't understand the humans. But now, yes. We do have some human telepaths in our first colony. There are six, which we speak to daily. We are starting to you understand human emotions and patterns, spirituality in the way that you see it. Your physicalities, the intensity of your thoughts, We were never able to do this, and therefore other colonies have failed. Also, we do it a different way now. We used to abduct, take people without them knowing they were being taken, and this was wrong. We have to apologize for that, because now we know how humans really feel about that sort of action on our part and now we ask permission before we take them to a colony there's so much more to tell but I think I should ask you if you have any questions to this point you can ask anything it does not have to about the colony. You mentioned the possibility of holographic interface with groups here versus visiting the <coughs> colonies. Yes. We have a group that meets that would be very interested. How would we go about doing that? We have not organized that sort of group yet. But we are working on that because we feel that there are some that cannot come through our teleportation methods to be with us. They have to remain on earth because of health issues or physiological problems that we cannot fix with our technology. Therefore, we are planning to come meet with groups of people 
perhaps three aliens to a group of 50 or 60. But it would start smaller. Does that... We will be doing that. And other channelers around your planet have taken note from their sources. We were the first to tell the Earth about this, and now others are speaking about it. Any specific channelers you can name? I am not to okay. speak of. But they do exist, and they are genuine. I'll do more questions, and maybe you can come oh, up with yes. more ideas and <clears throat> ask again. Can you tell us whether a solar player will take out the electric grid? We will guard against that. We have ways to guard against severe solar flares, and the ones lately have been moderately severe. But you have not had any major blackouts or electrical interference at this time. So you put a shield in the way of the flare after it already happened? You already used it? There is ways to deflect the energy. And also, we're interdimensional. We can go back several hours and help things. We are not permitted to move in time a great deal because it's dangerous, but we can move several hours at a time. And so, if we see that something is going to be potentially fatal, deadly, we will go back and try to fix that within several hours before it happens. Um, like, are scientists and people who watch the skies and things like that, are they aware with these solar flares that it's going on and then all of a sudden it's fixed or you fix it before they're aware? They have awareness of us in some ways because there are miracles that happen they cannot explain, and they have seen our ships. They conclude by logic that we have interfered. Can I ask why you would do it? We want to preserve this society, species, whatever you want to call yourselves. We, we know that there are several things that are coming to you that are very fatal. The weather due to global warming, the toxins in the air, the shift of the axis, the solar flares, the seismic grandeur of the tilt of the axis is one of our great concerns because your earthquake that smote Japan could have been even worse, if that is imaginable. No questions? I am sorry. If you have more questions, please feel free. Has it been? Uh, aliens who have been here for 20, 30, 40 years? Yes, and longer. Hundreds of years for some of them, a thousand years for even others, but some of them do not come back. We take a personal interest in you because we know that you're on the verge of your next evolution. It won't happen in a day or a week or a year, but we see that the energy of your brain has opened to telepathy. We are working with several humans to develop that telepathy even greater so they can train others to speak to us directly. 
I've spoken before, not to you, but to Max, about how we interact. And telepathy is our most vital tool in helping you survive. Because this way we know things that we cannot know as a foreign species. Does that make sense to you? Yes. You are like cylinders to us. You're closed off. But now that your telepathy is awakening, we have hopes of joining you as part of the galaxy. Or you joining us. So they have integrated into our society physically? Not as of yet. First contact we do. We are planning. There is so much to say about that. I am flooded with information. First contact is being planned very carefully with the help of telepathic humans, and they will be part of first contact because they need to be an intercessor for your species. They can not, not be there because you would be overwhelmed if just an alien looking species tried to make contact without humans coming first to tell you that they're here. But does that make sense to you? Okay, so there a timing for this? Are you allowed to tell us the time? There is much planning still to do. You are, as a species, not quite ready. There are too many deficiencies in some cultures that could not be overcome at this moment. However, your ascension of awareness and psychic abilities is bringing up the level of the earth. When this happens, fourth dimensional energy is released into the atmosphere from human beings, which is very interesting. You have the capacity for fourth dimension 150 or 200 years from now, perhaps. Not quite yet, but we see the beginnings of it. Does that Make sense to you? I see there is a question on your face. <laughs> there is. Um, as before I said, we have a group. Yes. And we do try to practice telepathy. Is yes. there something that you could tell us that would help us practice telepathy even more? Yes. What could you tell us? The very beginnings of telepathy are intention. Your intention toward another. When you are able to walk up to someone and know what they intend, then that is the beginnings of telepathy. The intentions between your group are all very high. Therefore, you must find a way to camouflage your purity for a moment to see if someone can find evidence of a different intention. Does that make sense to you? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. You must find a difficult space in yourself where the intention is not good so that you can practice with each other. Because you only know your good intention to each other. It's true. Oh. Oh. Does that make sense now? Mm -hmm. Now, you may go into the world, and if you can feel the intention of those around you, do you think you can do that? There are many that can at this point. <clears throat> by facial expressions they know, by they can feel the energy of malintent 
I believe you can do that. I believe your group would be able to feel malintent from a distance even. This is the beginning of telepathy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Practice these things when you go places, before you speak to someone, before you know who they are or what they're doing. Make a judgment, but then don't be harsh with them. Just make a judgment to see if you were correct. That's all. But do not judge them if their intent is not good because we are all perfect in the eyes of our Creator. You must not judge. Judgment will come to you before them. Does that make sense? Are, are you saying, I always think of goodness for people and I yes. always speak, okay, are you saying that I need, there's got to be a part of me that sees not good stuff? If you were to protect yourself in this day and age, there are the, excuse me, there are those who would not be appropriate for you to be around because they could affect your vibration. <clears throat> Keep your vibration moving in a positive direction. And if you find that people are causing you great stress, look into yourself and find if it is you that is causing the negativity or is it they that are causing the negativity. Because you must find a way to either calm that negativity or disconnect from that negativity. It is essential for Earth at this time to heal the negative parts of your society. Difficult times, but yet essential. 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 Does our thoughts affect other realities? No, your, but your thoughts affect this reality. Your intentions affect this reality. Your good-natured giving or taking or whatever it is that you do affects your reality and everything around you. And you already knew that. I can sense in you all the wonder of the future, the wonder of getting things right, the moving ahead, the knitting together of your species to be a whole and not just a part of who we all are. Because we are a community, yes, but we do not act like a community. Telepathically, we can be a community. Do you understand that? Because we can look at each other and know intention, we can know thoughts, share experiences, but you are separate from each other. And therefore, you do not know the inner workings of the another mind. Every mind here is different, the same with ours. Every mind is different. And if we didn't have telepathy, how would we ever know each other as a community? Does that make sense to you? Because we've learned to love each other as a community. Not all of us are even good or great people. But there's a good part in every one of us. And we tend to lift each other up when necessary to a level where we can communicate in a very good way. Does 
Does that make sense to you? How long have you been on the ship that is circling the Earth for North America? We have been 8.9 years. I've known of Earth for 11.7 years. But I, I should say I've been aware of Earth as a personality for that long. And you are a personality. <laughs> How do you get that job? I mean, is it something you volunteer, or is it dictated, or? I showed a special interest and acumen toward dealing with foreign species, and I studied Earth for many years before I was in this particular position. But if I have to be very honest, I've grown more in the last year than I have in many of my years because I'm communicating with humans like Max and the telepaths. They are teaching me more than I could ever learn from any kind of <coughs> curriculum, if you would call it. Any kind of holographic projection, visual aids, interacting is when we learn. And we find that they're much good here. Some species would have you already eliminated we have not allowed that. Can you speak a few sentences in your language? What would you like? Oh, can you do a blessing and then translate? Okay. Friyeka shundarabokoti aranda tabasakashu yaskuka karanduti apaya nuta tortura Santikira Ronda Kalala Sukata Pata Waka Yalera Moradari The translation would be I call down to you blessings. Let the earth surround you with joy. Let the things you lift up lift back. Let the awesome power of Mother Nature and the universe be with you. May you always be proud of the perfection that you attained. May you know that you are loved eternally. And let us be blessed together in our unity. Amen. Thank you much. How, how old are you? In earth years or? Yes, yes, yes. 137. Oh, you're, so you're very young? Yes. I think you live about five, six hundred? Yes. But I moved quickly up the ranks because of my ability to communicate. What's your IQ for an average Yale? Which percentage would be would it correspond to? I do not understand the question. Um, are you a very representative of typical Yale? Your race? I am not considered typical, but I consider myself more typical than they do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear, he's turned into an earthling. Do you mean intelligence? Yeah, IQ is intelligence. Yeah. Intelligence. Uh, we are all intelligent. Okay. Thank you. I know you're diplomatic. You cannot uh, say that you're exceptional, right? I would not want to. Thank you. Please go ahead. More questions if you want. Yes. 
Right. Um, I was curious about those of us humans that may be hybrids of sorts. Is there a purpose for us, or are we just kind of like an accident? Or? There is always a purpose for what has happened here on the Earth. Hybrids were experimental, but n not in a chemical or scientific way, but in a spiritual way, if you will. They wanted to develop a higher spiritual realm for Earth. They wanted to develop it quickly because they saw that your axis was going to flip over in so many hundred thousand years and you would be extinct again. Mm -hmm. But we're stopping that. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. When is it happening? It's already happening. The axis is already flipping, getting ready to flip. We've stopped it at 3%. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why you're experiencing such weather change, seismic reactions. We're trying to calm that down. We can't move it back, that would be even worse. We can stop it. Going backwards would cause twice the damage that going forward caused, if you can understand that, just because of <coughs> the way your Earth is in orbit around the Sun. Does that make sense to you? I have a question. Uh... Back in the 1950s, the Braswell incident in New Mexico? Yes. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? I can tell you a little, but not a lot. Because your government knows everything about that. And they were, you yield, that were in that accident. They were greys. They were friendly. Were they greys or you yield? Grays are you you. Oh, is it, oh but the different species than you. So Thank you. But they will they look very much the same. Thank you. There was five different gray species. Thank you. They were mistreated, unfortunately. And their technology was uncovered through reverse engineering. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So there are, on display, in some prominent places on your planet, alien technology. You may not know that, what they are exactly, because they won't tell you that they're alien technology, but they are. Can you tell us? I am not permitted to point those things out at this time. <laughs> I am sorry. But they, I will tell you, one is in New York City and one is in Washington, D.C. And what were these? One what? They are alien technology. There is a spaceship in Washington, D.C. that was made by aliens. Or, I should say, made by Earthlings with alien technology. And is it true that our military has picked up technological secrets from people? Yes, it is well known. totally secret from us still? Yes. Like free energy and um, yes. scalar weapons and such? If you go to your internet, and there are places on the internet where they openly discuss alien technology and interaction, and most people think that because it's so open, it can't be real. <laughs> That's what they want you to believe. They actually are hiding in front of your face. They're saying, oh, this is fictitious. This is awful. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's an actual conference with press, newscasters, people, and government officials and army officials that are actually telling you what kind of technology they found. But yet people think it's a hoax. And that's what they like. They're happy that you think it's a hoax. But it's actually real. If you pay attention to it, it's way too boring to be anything but real. Could you uh, tell us why the government is so reluctant to let us know 
that the aliens are out there? Yes, because it gets rid of their control. If they realize that you realize that aliens are protecting the Earth, what do we need an army for? Precisely. Do you understand? There's, mm -hmm. What do we need military for if there's... your people will say to themselves, what do we need that for? We have aliens protecting us. They have ten times the ability that are... So, to stay in control, our politicians, your politicians, your people keep excuse me they want to keep the control that's the big issue and the, also there are per portions of the earth that are not ready for this kind of information so you're saying it, it's a fear of that yes it would become chaotic in some areas as well I would your, have been I would have believed that uh, many years ago, but in the current time, I don't believe it's fear. Because I, there's too many now that believe in the uh, Go to your fiction. Bible belt in the south and you will find <laughs> oh. fear beyond your imagination. Yes. yes. Um, and this is what I speak of in your continent. But the Bible belt is tight, fear, control. Oh, yeah, yes. And superstition. Mm -hmm. It is spiritual, but it does not reach God the way that goodness and love mm -hmm. and traits that are pure reach God. They must unshackle themselves from the debris of dogma, mm -hmm. if you want to call it that. It is a bondage on them. And that we see more hate there than we see love. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, it, is it more difficult for you to deal with religious leaders or politicians? They are the same. vibration of the planet increasing um, at a greater rate than it has in the past? Yes, let me explain something quickly. Which I explained to this group before, not all of you are here though. The ascension has begun, but it starts small. Very, very, very small. But as we gather people, like new people are here tonight, it gets wider like a beam of light shoots out. And it collects. When you come into contact with pure love, honesty, joy, and people that are happy to be here and are moving in a way that is positive, how can you not want to be part of that? How? There are those that don't, but they will be overcome, not in a forceful way, but they are in the shadow, and the light kills shadows. Does that make sense? There's, there's been a lot of stories about the earth separating when the ascension time comes, and then some of us will stay on earth and there'll be a new earth for some of these people that... People are confusing the ascension with the rapture. They are two different things. I'm not sure that I can explain the basic difference, but ascension does not make people rise off the earth and go into a spiritual body. The ascension is an evolutionary process. It causes man to move to the next level 
of expanded thought and process and telepathy. This is what the ascension does. Your so-called rapture from revelations in your Bible is not echoed nearly the same by any other religious book. But it is a semi-truth about there will be a time when many people will exit the earth at the same time into a spiritual body. That's all I can relate that to. Does that make sense to you? I see there are even more questions. Don't uh, be afraid. I'm sorry. Uh, no problem. Earlier you talked about abduction. Yes. There's no more abduction. That, that was a while back. There's All no right. more abductions. Can, can one become abducted in the dream state? Yes. But our species and the species that we are in a alliance with do not do any form of abduction anymore. There are species that still do abduction, but we are not of that species or alliance. But they still do that, yes. Do you know if they're benevolent or no? There are two species that still do abduction. One is benign, and the other is not. Is that a, an answer that you can accept? One is purely scientific, and one is malevolent. What? Malevolent. Malevolent. Oh. Bad. <laughs> They want the things that you have, your minerals, your water, your sky, your planet. Back to the ascension, when is the first wave of ascenders to go? They don't go anywhere. They don't go anywhere. They, the first wave of ascenders will become the first telepaths on earth. They will be feared. But once they let themselves be who they really are, no one will fear them at all. They will not want to seek information that they shouldn't have. They will want to connect in a positive way. Now that's not to say that at the beginning there will be those who seek to do harm as a telepath. But you will know them by their intention and another telepaths will find them. Hmm. They could not hide. They would not be able to hide because of their intention. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If another telepath comes across them, they're exposed. Um, I'd like to ask a question. Uh, would you consider this um telepathic or just intuition like you you're a person that has lots of love for everyone mm -hmm. but yet sometimes you run across somebody and you start to go near them and you want to back away that's the first part of telepathy knowing the intent of somebody that it wishes to cause mm -hmm. negativity in the area or with you, that is the first part of telepathy. You will be able to sense their energy mm -hmm. before they've even released it. I've had that happen a few times. This is the first beginning. Does this make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Can we change their energy by sending them lots of love? You cannot change their energy without their will being changed. Mm -hmm. Their will has to change by your will being of the light and love. Then if they see the things in you that they want, their will will change. 
but it has to be their will. Your will cannot control them. Yes. Question. I know you're limited with what you can tell us about the future. Yes. Um, is, we don't I, go that far. Well, <laughs> um, I just had a concern about our government, and this could be conspiracy theory. And I didn't know if your species is also protecting us to some degree from our own politicians and government, from maybe some malevolent design to. Well, yours. Where do I even start with that? <laughs> LB, yes. Let me tell you this. There is a group of spirit beings named L. And they're in charge of your finances, commercial well-being. I don't know if I'm saying that your money situations as a, a world and they find it unusable. They cannot use the way that you, you have things up. They are planning to crash the economic systems. I can tell you that because no one would believe that. Mm -hmm. I mean in the government. Uh, we're too strong. We can't. <laughs> I mean I'm imitating a politician that I saw on your website. He was certain that everything will stay just the way it is. Or worse. <laughs> but, when it falls apart, L will be there to build it back up. They will be our leaders to help you rebuild your society because they know how to do it. They've done it in several worlds mm. that are now working very smooth. So they are spiritual beings, not aliens, right? Yes, L is more spiritual than alien, or is spiritual, I should say. So is this financial realignment likely to happen, as some sources say, very soon? 2027. That's the 2027 date we've been hearing. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it finalized or it's flexible? Well, if you, if you, L is very superstitious <laughs> in some ways. 27, 2 and 9 is a final number. It's an, an end number. But if you add the 2 onto it, it's an 11, which is two beginning numbers. Mm -hmm. So they double begin and final. They have a finality which is the 27, and then they add the two to it to make a double beginning. Does that make sense to you? Count at 11, 11 then? No, 2027. Can you tell me what you know about Jesus? Was he a telepathy? Yes. Jesus was a great telepath. He channeled many times. Many of his parables were channeled from other aliens. Because their planet would, had undergone many things of the same nature. And so he was aware of God, his Father. And in many ways, he was a son of God. Many ways. His purity was very, very bright. Does that make sense? But he was a channeler. He taught his people how to become prosperous without having anything. And even they were prosperous still when they had nothing. They went from home to home. They went lacking for nothing. But yet they were given everything they needed by the law. What is you call that? The law of attraction. Because they prayed prayers so powerful. They prayed for what they needed, and God interceded for them, and they got everything they needed. Now, of course, some of them were martyred. That couldn't be helped. He could not step in and do miracles when he's not there. He was there in spirit, 
but he could not interact with the physical at that time. Would you, would you tell us about the Bilderberg group? I don't know this group. What is it? The group that runs the world? Oh, MIC. We know them as a different name. They have their finger in a little bit of everything. They have... You may think that you are safe. You are, in many senses. But they know everything about you. At this day and age, unless you live on the the plains of Siberia. They know who you are, what you do, how much money you make, where you go, if you watch pornography. They know all these things. How many calls you make a day. They have their hands and control in politics, religion, every possible thing you can imagine. And it takes, it has taken them a while to do this, but they've been in power for many years now. Is that what you meant? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, they even know how long every phone call that you made was and who it was to and what the source of the information was. And is that through the internet or through <coughs> other, other methods we don't know about? Other methods you are not aware of because they, like I said, they know Verizon, AT&T, Time Warner. They have operatives everywhere. And these people are doing this for the good of the world. They are convinced that this is what they should do to save the world, is to spy on everybody and make sure that everybody is within the control of MIC. They were told that. That was the propaganda, if you will, that has seized so many of their people. There are few that have left, and if they leave, their lives are in danger. Mm -hmm. Where is their propaganda coming from? Everywhere their operatives are, because their operatives are the ones that are spreading it. They are in the Bible Belt, keeping them tightly aware that Jesus will come back any second, and they can't love anybody because judgment is what they have to do. But it's all gone through such a twisted mentality that we see that is many, many places on your world. But this thing is, you're a cylinder. You cannot understand some things that are celestial, esoteric, because you are a cylinder. But we're breaking that cylinder with the light that is growing. Do you understand? The light will come through and telepathy will break through the cylinder. Because you, you can't stay there. You can't stay there. A question? Where were you just trying to digest? Yeah. Can you tell about uh, your religion, your connection to God, your religious practices? We do much meditation when we can. But even our work is our religion because we are helping move people up into a greater vibration. We are working at a spirit level with humanity. We are also working in a physical and a natural level. But our intention it started in the spirit. So therefore, our religion is helping you, as if perhaps you needed help, which you do at this point. But then you help us as well, with your prayers, with your thoughts, with your positive actions. You also encourage us to do our job as better. Does that make sense? Are you praying using words? Are you in contact with angels and maybe some 
higher consciousnesses which you also know? Angels choose when they want to come into your reality. It is the same with us. If they want to be in our reality, they make themselves known. They give us the message. They let us know what they want us to know. Are you using words and prayers? Yes. Uh, are you words are very powerful. Are you there are some vibration words that have great vibrations. The um is a great vibration. You know why? It if it's gone long enough, you all become part of it. Do you understand that? You all become part of the Om. It is not separate from anyone. You all hear it the same way. You all perceive it in a peaceful way. You all love it. And it becomes a higher vibration in you, bringing you up, knitting you together, bringing you to a higher so the OM is one example of a word with a high vibration. And prayers have high vibrations. The word Jesus resonates very high in the universe. Emmanuel, El. Some of these words have great resonation in the universe and therefore connect you to even other planets and galaxies and peoples off-world because they know those words too. Does that make sense to you? There are some words known throughout the galaxy, like Max. No. <laughs> Max is known throughout the galaxy at this point, but because of his writings, they have taken many of his thoughts and translated them into other languages. And, but in so you mentioned El and Jesus, which you know about. Are there any other gods which are historic uh, deities from our past which you also are dealing with and in contact with? Muhammad, Buddha, Gandhi, Gandhi was actually a hybrid spirit being. No one could have that much strength in the human body. Do you realize what he went through? He was unhuman. He was not fully human, but he taught humanity what humanity should be like. Does that make sense? Let, let me just change a bit of question. Do your, 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 your gods or your higher consciousnesses, do we have somebody in common so we know their name and you are in connection with them and yeah. praise them? Oh. Yes, God would be your name. Yes. Allah mm -hmm. is known in the universe. Mm -hmm. Yes, we pray to God and Allah and Ra. Is Ra a separate thing than uh, Allah? Yes, but slightly underneath, that's all. Are you in connection with Ra? Correct. Ra material is very much correct, right? Yes. Many on earth are taught from Ra material and respect it very much. It's maybe one of the step stones. Another teaching is the, uh, the message is by the Nine. Are you in connection with the Nine? The books of the Nine which were channeled to the earth. Okay, welcome here. Thank you. Please do must leave. <laughs>